Hello everyone, welcome back to Bytes of CSC. So this is going to be the last minute revision video on the calculation of effective memory access time when TLB is used. So you will be given a problem like this. Now the time to search the TLB is 20 nanoseconds while the main memory access time is 100 nanoseconds. You will need to find the effective access time if the hit ratio is 80% and also you need to calculate the average memory access slowdown in percentage. Now TLB or transition look aside buffer very quickly is a very uh, fast me uh, hardware memory cache in an operating system that stores the recent translations of your virtual memory to physical address mapping. So the entire virtual memory to physical address mapping is present in the page table which is stored in the main memory. So when an operating system generates a virtual address it will first look into the TLB if TLB is present and in this case it is present it will first look up uh, the TLB to check that if that address mapping is present if it is present that is if it is a hit it will then access the main memory to fetch the page but if it is not present in the TLB it will first need to access the page table to find that mapping and taking that address it will again need to access the main memory to get the page now in this case we are uh, by default we are considering that all the virtual addresses that are generated by the operating system is legal because if it is not uh, if it is not legal it will cause an operating system thrash and uh, we are not getting into that in this case now you will uh, now when there is like if there is a hit the time taken to fetch the page will be 20 plus 100 that is 120 nanoseconds but if the mapping is not present in the TLB the time taken to fetch the page will be 20 plus 100 plus 100 that is 220 nanoseconds. Now when we are trying to find the effective access time we will need to consider both the cases like it might be for any randomly generated virtual address it might be a hit it might be a miss. So in this case, we will convert, we, we can look into this hit ratio as the probability. So since probability is expressed in fraction, we will need to convert this to fraction. So 80% is converted to 0.8. And now the miss ratio, which is 20%, is also converted to fraction, which is 0.2. Or you can also do it like 1 minus 0.8 is also 0.2. Now the effective access time will be 0.8 into uh, time taken uh, to fetch a page when it is a hit plus 0.2 when it is not that is when it is not present in the TLB uh, the, that mapping is not present in TLB into time taken to access the page in case of a miss. And this you can say a weighted average actually. This weighted average calculates to 140 nanoseconds. And now the average memory access slowdown is basically um, what is the extra time needed in percentage um, to access the page considering the memory access time when a TLB is used. What is the slowdown it says so in this case it is 140 minus 100 so the actual memory access time was 100 so 140 minus 100 that is 40 and since the uh, memory access time is 100 so 40 divided by 100 into 100 is actually 40 percent so the slowdown here is 40 percent now if we go through the formula the effective access time cal is calculated as hit ratio percentage divided by 100. So since it is given in percentages, generally it is given in percentage, we will have to divide that by 100 to get the, um, get the fraction. If it is already given in fraction, you, will do, not, you do not have to uh, do this divide by 100 part. You can straight away write that. So 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 0 0.99, whatever. So hit ratio percentage divided by 100 into TAT which is the TLB access time 
plus MAT, which is the memory access time, plus this is the miss case. This is the miss case. So one minus this one hit ratio percentage divided by hundred into TLB access time. And this time there are two memory accesses: one for the page table and one for the page. So twice into memory access time. This is the effective access time calculation formula. And the memory slowdown percentage, if it is asked, it will be effective access time minus memory access time divided by memory access time into 100. So that's all you will need to know about this. So best of luck for your exam and thank you for watching.